Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is my updated everyday makeup drawer for August. I love filming these. I look forward to it every single month. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Blair. At the beginning of every month, I do an everyday makeup drawer refresh where I go through my makeup collection with you, pick out a bunch of new things to organize in my little everyday makeup container that sits on my desk here and then we use the products and do our makeup together and that's what we're going to be doing today if you're new here like I said my name is Blair I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube three times a week on Monday Wednesday and Friday I hope you'll subscribe and yeah let's just get into it all right so it's that time again to go through pick out some new products but I just want to kind of quickly go over what I've had in Louis. So everything I've been using is here. I will say some of this stuff I feel like I've used almost too much to the point where I'm kind of over it. And then some of this other stuff I have not used as much. Like all of these correctors from Huda used a ton. Merit foundation I've used. Even the Say foundation back here I've used. Fenty Skin Tint, I've used my Milk Hydra Grip a ton. My correctors, I've used a ton. So really all of this stuff, for the most part, I feel like I've used. I have not used this one a ton, the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I don't know why, I just haven't been reaching for that one, but everything else up here I have. Um, even this, the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. This is a really good one. I've kind of talked about that before. I don't know why no one talks about that one because it's very good. What else is in here? Okay, so this is brand new. I just stuck it in here, the new blush from Give. So I may actually keep that in, but everything else in here is definitely time for it to go. I've used pretty much all of these things with the exception of the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is just not really a product I think of for like everyday makeup. So I think that's why I haven't used it, but like I've been using my Pat McGrath bronzer a ton. I've been using the Say bronzer a ton. Obviously Makeup by Mario soft pop blushes. I've used a ton. Skin Enhancer, um, my Armani blushes, the Alme blush, I love. These two say in Rare Beauty. I've used a lot of stuff this time around. I've used my powders as well, um, particularly this Jane Iredell powder foundation. I've been using that a ton. I have not used highlighter really this month, hardly at all. Um, and then I have used this a little bit, the Givenchy powder. I mainly put this in just because I wanted to get a little bit more use out of it, and I feel like that's one of those products I just don't reach for a lot. But other than that, everything else in this drawer powder-wise, I've used with the exception of the highlights. Eye stuff. Eyeshadow, did not use. I did not use the MAC palette. I did not use the ColourPop palette. I did use my little Essence palette. I did not use my Charlotte palette there. I just have been so into my single eyeshadows lately. That's just what I'm reaching for. I've used all of this stuff um, for the most part. My eyeliner, mascaras, brow products. Um, I've been using my MAC Paint Pot a ton. These two little single shadows. But yeah, eyeshadow is just, I don't know. On the everyday, I just don't, I don't know. I don't reach for it. And then all of this stuff is the same. One thing I have definitely realized I am not a fan of this, you guys. I think I've mentioned that in at least one video, maybe two. This is too thick for under makeup. I do not like putting something over this. I mean, unless it's just the slightest bit of like a concealer or something. I just don't like this. It's too thick. And it also kind of feels grainy to me. Like I almost feel like sometimes it has little grains of something in there. I don't know, but I really have not enjoyed that one at all. I still cannot get enough of this. As you can see, it's pretty much empty. I need to order a new one. Okay. So that is everything that's been in. 
for the last month. So we'll go ahead and put all of this away and then we'll pick out some new stuff. Let's pick out some new products. Finally got everything put away, so we'll start, I guess, with primers, which are primarily here. And then I have like my glowier primers standing up right here. I'm gonna do this Jane Iredell primer. This is the Smooth Affair Brightening Face Primer. This works really well with the powder foundation, but obviously you don't have to use it with the powder foundation from them, but I haven't used this a ton since I got it. I used it a little bit when I first got it and then I kind of put it away and haven't picked it up again. So I want to use that. I'm also going to put this Tarte smoothing primer back in because ever since I started using this, I can't get enough of it. So I'm also going to put that in. And then I know I want to put in a glowy primer. Let's do one of my flawless filter shades because... I'm in that kind of mood. I haven't used my flawless filter as much lately, so I'm gonna do this one in shade number three. All right, so I have my foundations and skin tints over here. Okay, I am gonna put in the new Maybelline Superstay skin tint. Since this is pretty new, I wanna keep trying it, get a little bit more experience with it, so I definitely want to stick that in for a skin tint. I'm gonna do my Armani Luminous Silk. I used this in my latte makeup video, if you saw that one. And I just, my base makeup, I don't know if you could even tell on camera, but in person that day, my makeup in person looked just flawless. And I, I mean, I have to think part of it is because I use this foundation. So I wanna pull that out and use it some more. I don't reach for foundation a ton on a daily basis. I'm going to put this back in as well, the Tower 28 Sunny Days. Another really good one, especially for the summer. Um, and then I think I might do this as well, the Surratt Dewdrop Foundation. This is one of the most skin-like, undetectable, lightweight, type products I've ever tried. I haven't used this one lately, but I do really like it. I want to put it in. I also have my Fenty Ease Drop, which is in my project pan right now, so that'll be in there too. All right, and then we'll do corrector. All right, I'm gonna do this Tarte CC Clay Color Corrector. I actually get asked about this one in particular quite a bit. I like it. Actually, before I started my YouTube channel, this was my go-to color corrector, but that was before I had tried as many as I've tried now. But I've actually been through at least one of these, maybe two of these, so this would be my third one. This is good, it's just not one that I reach for a ton anymore, but we'll put it in and get some more use out of it. Typically like to do one with a doe foot applicator also. All right, we'll do the Tarte color correctors. I'm putting in the pink and the peach because the pink is way too light on its own and the peach is a little bit dark on its own. So I'm going to put them both and that, I think that'll be good for corrector. For a concealer or for some concealers, definitely going to put this in. I've been missing this NYX, bear with me. One of the best concealers from the drugstore ever in my opinion. And I just love it. It's such a great product. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to do the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This has been a new favorite that I 
absolutely love. So I definitely want that one in as well. Um, I know if I don't put these in, I'm going to reach for them anyway. I'm going to come over here and want to have them. So we're just going to go ahead and put them in there. The Natasha Denona High Glam. Um, let's see. And then I think I'm going to do my Tom Ford Traceless matte concealer also. I think that's everything for this drawer. Now on to my powders. Okay, I'm going to put this powder in for sure. I was just thinking about this a few days ago. I was just all about this powder, the House Labs powder. Then I kind of quit using it, started using other things, and I want to pull this out again because this was like my number one powder for quite a while, and I still think it's really great. So I am going to go ahead and put that in. I already have my Kosas powder in because that's in my project pan right now. I think I'm also going to do NARS Light Reflecting. I was using this for a while under my eyes to set my concealer, and I really liked it. I kind of want to do that again, so I'll put that in, and then... Definitely want to put in at least one highlight, maybe more than that. All right, I'm going to do this Rare Beauty liquid highlight in Enchant. It's just a really light pink. I might do this, actually, my MAC Soft and Gentle. All right, let's pick some blushes. All right, the first one I know I want to put in is this one. This is one of the new Patrick Ta blushes in She's Flushed. I used this for the first time a few days ago. I did like a little Instagram video on it and oh my gosh you guys this is such a pretty color. It's kind of similar to She's Blushing but this one is a little bit more mauve -y. not Not as bronzy beigey as She's Blushing but oh my gosh this one is good. So that I definitely want to put in. I'm also going to put in a Rare Beauty blush. I think I want to do this one. This is actually my newest one. It's Grace. It's a pretty dark pink, but it's, it's a beautiful shade of pink. But I think mixed with that highlight, that would be really pretty. So I'm going to put that in there. Of course, I have to pick like 25 blushes. I'm going to put in Makeup by Mario in Just Peachy, the new blush veil. All right, that's it for blush. I'm not picking anything else. Then I have bronzers over here. All right, first one I'm going to do is Nude Sticks Bondi Belle. This is, I think, one of the newer bronzer shades. It's not quite as dark and warm as Bondi Bay from them. This one's a little bit lighter. It's pretty new to me, so I'm going to put that in. Also going to put in my Victoria Beckham bronzer. I've been missing this one. Have not used it a lot in the last few weeks, so I'll put that in there too. I'm gonna do the Chanel bronzer. I have the original and I have the dark one. I'm gonna put the dark one in. I love the dark one, especially for summertime. I'm gonna put that in too, and then let's see. I'm gonna put in the L'Oreal Infallible also, and light medium. I think that's good. Okay, brows. I'm actually going to put this in. Haven't used my Patrick Ta brow wax lately. This is the um, tinted one. So we'll do that for something a little bit different. All right, I'm going to put in this Glossier brow flick. I've been kind of playing around with this. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest, but I kind of want to play with it some more. And then I'm also going to put in this Milk. It's like a brow shadow stick. Kind of interesting. I've been playing around with that too, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to throw in just a normal pencil. Also, this Maybelline Express Brow. I'm going to do this Milani Liquid Brow Wax. And I think... That should be everything for brows. Um, for mascara, I'm going to do Too Faced, Better Than Sex in the brown color. I'm going to do the Surat. 
pretty much always have an open two of this, so that's gonna go in too, and that'll be it for mascara. And then let's see for an eyeliner. I'm gonna do this NYX bronze eyeliner. I just can't not have my makeup by Mario eyeliner in, so I'm gonna do that. I might even put this Clinique True Khaki liner in. It's an OG for me. All right, and then all my single shadows are over here. I'm gonna put this Rem Beauty in, one of my favorites. For like an eye primer, I think I'm gonna stick this Makeup by Mario Master Prep in there. I don't use, that's probably my least used eyeshadow primer. Um, I'm gonna put the Rare Beauty eyeshadow sticks in. I've really been enjoying those. I think that's it. All right, for lips, this is brand new to me, but I know I wanna put this in, the Sephora Contour Gel Lip Liner in Sinker Suede. This is one of the things I tried in my most recent trying new makeup video. It's kind of like a cooler, mauve toned lip liner that I really like, so I definitely want that in. This is just what I can't put down right now, so this has to be in the Dior Lip Liner in Brown Fig. Um, okay, let's do a Makeup by Mario pencil. I'm looking for Toasty, because I know I have it. Okay, here it is, Toasty. It's kind of a darker nude on me. Let's, ooh, let's do ColourPop Oh Snap, that's another good one. And um, Essence in Rosy Nude, which is, one of my holy grails. Glosses, I know I wanna put this in. This is my newest shade of the Dior Gloss in Rosy Nude. Clearly I like Rosy Nudes because I feel like everything is a Rosy Nude. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do this Superstay Ink Crayon in Lead the Way from Maybelline. These are really nice as either lip liners or just lipstick in general. Really like those. Let's do one of these Surat lip batons. This is in the shade Heaven. Heaven. I'm not sure. Put that in there. I'm gonna do one of their uh, BK Beauty lipsticks. This is Inner Beauty. I'm gonna put this Gucci lipstick in. In what is this? Call it a day, maybe. Yeah, call it a day. Very nice, very expensive <laughs> lip product. And then I'm gonna do this lipstick also. Another really good one from MAC. It's, uh, oh thanks, it's MAC. I might even do this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of the hot lips in Glowing Gen. It's kind of a pinky nude, I guess, but it's kind of a darker shade than what I usually go for. We'll put that in too, and I think that's it for here. All right, and then I don't know how many eyeshadow palettes I am even gonna put in right now because I'm just not reaching for my palettes at the moment. Um, I, well, I might put this in. This is my MAC palette that I made. It's just like a bunch of everyday neutral shades. So I'm gonna stick that in there and then Ooh, maybe we'll stick this little e.l.f. palette in too. This is one of the new Perfect 10 palettes in Summer Breeze. This is very nice, actually. You get a lot of depth in here if you want. I mean, you can do a lot with this. We'll stick that in too. Maybe I'll pair it with a single shadow or something. Um, and I think that's it. I'm not going to put anything else in because, like I said, I'm just reaching for my singles a lot right now. So I think think that is everything.
All right, I got everything put back in. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised at how perfectly everything I picked fit in here. Sometimes I end up picking too much or not picking enough, but this time I feel like I picked just the right amount. So I have all my foundations and skin tints right here, lip products, lip liners, mascara, and eyeliner here, all my concealers, primers back there, and then the stuff that couldn't really stand up like that I put in here. So I have primer, concealer, corrector, and the Surat Dewdrop Foundation. And then I have powders and highlighters in here, bronzer and blushes in here, and then all of my eye products. And then I did put my brow stuff down here this time. And then, same as always, that is everything. So let's go ahead and do our makeup together with some of these products. All right, I wanna use a little bit of my Flawless Filter today. Just kinda of in the mood. Haven't used this as much lately. This is shade number three, but I'm mainly just gonna apply this on my cheeks and then some on my nose, a little bit on my chin. I actually washed all my brushes yesterday, so all of my brushes are like fresh and clean, which is such a good feeling. I love it when I sit down and I look over and every single brush is clean. Such a good feeling. Okay, for corrector, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the Tarte CC Clay in the shade Light Medium. It's so funny, I used to, I think I kinda talked about this in one of the earlier clips when I was picking out the makeup, but this was actually, I want to say this might have been the first corrector I ever bought. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was. So I've been through a few of these before I ever had a YouTube channel, but that was back before I had tried many color correctors. So I didn't have like a large variety to choose from at the time, but I do remember this being like one of the first things, what first color correcting products that I ever tried. And I loved it. I've been through a few of them. I just, I don't know. I just don't reach for this one as much anymore. All right, for foundation, skin tint today, I kind of want to mix these two. I don't know why. I just kind of want to see what they would look like mixed together. This one is the Fenty Ease Drop, and this is the Maybelline Superstay. This is more of a matte skin tint, and this is the opposite. It's very glowy. I don't know. For some reason, I kind of want to mix these two, so I think we might try it. So I'm just going to get a little bit of both on the back of my hand. And I wear shade 3 in the Fenty one and shade 120 in... The Maybelline. I'm just kind of curious because I love the Fenty Ease Drop. That's been like a favorite for me for a very long time. So I'm kind of curious how it would mix with something else. That's a totally different finish. And I'm blending this in with the BK Beauty 106 brush. Who I actually think those two colors go well together also because the Fenty, I would say, this time of year is just a little bit too light in shade number three. And the Maybelline Superstay is just a hair on the dark side. So I feel like the two together might also give me like my perfect shade for right now. Wow, those two. Together, you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but wow, those two look so beautiful together. I mean, the finish, it's glowy, but not as glowy as the Maybelline on its own. Mm, that was a good combo. Not that you have to buy both, but if you happen to have both, maybe try mixing them. Okay, I'm going to take this Lancome Tint Idol Concealer. 
in the shade Buff. And I'm just gonna add under my eyes and then anywhere where I want a little bit more coverage on my face. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tap that in with my BK Beauty brush. I will have a brush video coming, by the way. It may or may not be up when this video goes up, but if it's not, it's coming. And it's just all about my most used brushes in my collection, because it's been a while since I've done a brush video. And then I'm gonna switch to the Sigma FO3 for under my eyes. Okay, let's move on to some bronzer. I can't decide if I wanna use nude sticks or if I wanna use Chanel. Let's try nude sticks. This is the Nudies Matte All Over Face Color in Bondi Bell. So this color is really pretty actually. I'm gonna do it off the back of my hand, but see how pretty that color is. I'm gonna use this brush, the A507 from BK Beauty and kind of get it worked into the brush and just start tapping this on. This is another brush actually that I highly, highly recommend the A507. Something about the way it applies cheek products, whether it's cream, bronzer, or blush, or powders, really. This brush just applies it really, really well. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the shape of the brush or what, but this brush for cheek products is perfection. I love it. I am gonna take a little bit of the Victoria Beckham bronzer in shade number two, which you get more of a cool tone shade in here and a warm tone shade. I just kind of mix them together. And I'm just gonna kind of go over where we put that Nude Sticks bronzer. Okay, for blush, I feel like I have to use the new Patrick Ta. This is the shade She's Blushed. So I've used this only one time. I used it in like a little Instagram video that I did a few days ago. But this color, it is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of She's Blushing from Patrick Ta, but this one is a little bit more has a little bit more of a mauve undertone, whereas She's Blushing is more of like a beige undertone. But it's pretty pigmented, so I'm just gonna add a little bit and I'm going in with the powder first. I feel like we don't really need much of the cream, but also feel like it'd be a crime not to use any of it. I'm just tapping just a little bit of the cream. So pretty. This may be my new favorite color, honestly. I just love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some powder. I'm gonna use the House Labs powder because I do wanna kind of mattify just the center of my face just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but like, this powder, every time I use it, I'm blown away by how much it actually does like blur and mattify your skin where you place it. It's, it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna fill in my brows and I'm just using this Maybelline Brow or Express Brow in the shade Soft Brown. Now I'm just gonna use this Milani 
liquid brow wax and just set them in place. All right, for the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Makeup by Mario Eye, I always forget the name of this, Master Eye Prep and Set, I think. And I just mix a little bit of both cream shades in here and just lightly kind of go over my eyes with this just to even them out a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with that Nude Sticks bronzer and I'm gonna use a MAC 217 brush for this and just kind of add this on my eyes as a crease color. I'm going to use one of the Rare Beauty eyeshadow sticks. This one is in Well Being, which is like the light pink. And I'm just going to put this on really the center of my lid and kind of fade it up into that bronzer color. And then I'm just going to take that brush from MAC and just kind of buff it out a little bit. Then I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and a little bit of both shades in that Victoria Beckham bronzer and just kind of go over where we put the nude sticks. I'm going to use a Makeup by Mario eyeliner in the Perfect Brown and I'm putting this on my waterline. And then I always see people doing this, but I feel like my eye shape, this just doesn't work super well. But they take, oh, I guess maybe it does. They take the brush on the other side of the liner and, oh gosh, making my eye water. They kind of drag it underneath like where you've been tight lining and then like flick it outward and just like a little bit of that liner goes out or gets pulled out kind of like liner but barely their liner that kind of worked that time I feel like I've done it a few times it hasn't really worked it just gives you like barely barely their liner which I really like the look of it's just kind of hard to achieve sometimes okay and then for mascara I'm going to use the Too Faced Better than sex in the brown color. For lip liner, I couldn't really decide, so I went with this one. This is the Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade Toasty, kind of a mauve brown. Mm, that's a really pretty color, actually. I think maybe we'll do a little bit of Thanks It's MAC lipstick. All right, then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Dior Lip Maximizer in Rosy Nude. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this month's Everyday Makeup Drawer. I hope you liked it. I just love these so much. I say it every time, but it's true. I look forward to filming this video every single month. It's probably my favorite of anything that I film. It's just, I don't know. There's something about going through, picking out a new group of products and just playing around with things that maybe you haven't used in a while or combining things together that maybe you haven't combined before, like this skin tint or these skin tints. If you happen to have these two, try mixing them because I'm not exaggerating when I tell you these, something about the finish of these two things look impeccable together. So maybe this will inspire you to go through your makeup, pick out some things you haven't used or pair things together that you haven't paired together before. And maybe you'll discover something that you love. So I hope you enjoyed. I will have everything I used today listed and linked below for you as always. By the way, I am wearing my neutral is my favorite color <laughs> shirt today. So this is part of my merch that is always linked below as well. These are affiliate links. 
Any of my links I use most likely are affiliate links, so I do make a commission if you shop through them. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not already, and make sure you're following me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok, simply.blair1, and I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.